Welcome to a special episode of BitSocket. Do you want to tell them why it's special? Yes, I would, Joe. Well, it's Christmas in the BitSocket castle, so that's why we're here to look back, to think about all those, all those beautiful memories you have around Christmas time. And what time is best for memories, Joe? Probably our school days. That's right, those glorious days when you're carefree, you don't pay council tax. It doesn't matter if your house has double glazing, because you don't need to think about it. Those glorious days where you can just arse about at school, filming yourself, doing arsey things, looking all young and innocent, before you've had to really kind of embrace the fact that your hairline's receding, you're maybe not as thin as you used to be, and you share the name with the elephant man. So that's why we're going to have a wee look back at the glory of school days. And I've got just a thing to help us remember those beautiful, glorious school days under the tree. Jo. Jo, she's dead. She's she's not coming back. She's she's not coming back. Scott, I don't mean that. Just check under the tree and you'll see. It's a, it's a nice thing, aren't it? It's a nice thing, alright. Aye. As you can see, I got us a wee special treat. Oh, it's a wee dream ca- Wait a minute. Is that the one that's compatible with Windows CE? It is, Scott, it is. Oh, wow, we Look at that. Now look what else I got. <gasps> Project Justice Rival Schools too. The closest that Joe can actually get to a physical school. Maybe we should turn it on and see why it's such a great game, eh? Yeah, then we should play the game. Project Justice Rival Schools 2 is a game that I went on a quest to find. My issue with what you're saying is you're saying the word quest. Right. For me, a quest, that's like, you know, a knight fighting a dragon. That's The Lord of the Rings is a quest, for example. <laughs> you, on the other hand, loaded up your MacBook and went onto eBay. Yeah. Now, that's, I wouldn't say that's a quest. That's more like, that's more like, I had a notion <laughs> to find out. I'd say, I, so you had the notion, right? Let's, let's go with that. Right, okay, I had the notion to get Project Justice Tribal Schools 2. So I went on eBay and I noticed it was going for £80 most of the time. And I was like, God, that must be a really good game if it's going for £80. Quid. And one that, day that's I, the logic. I, well, I, one day I saw it going for £30 quid and I snapped it up. And uh, I'm so glad I did. Because uh, as soon as I played it, it was just I mean, it's, it's a special fighting game, isn't it? The Dreamcast had a lot of good fighting games, but something about it just totally stands out from all the rest. Yeah, no, Capcom especially, the makers of this game, they made a lot of great fighting games for the Dreamcast. They made uh, Plasma Sword, st- uh, lots of Street Fighter games, Third Strike, uh, Marvel vs Capcom, Capcom vs NK, Power Stone, all these great games, and yet Rival Schools, I think, stands above, above them a little bit. It's such a like really unique fighting system with those partner attacks. All these stupid team up attacks, it just everything everyone in is hilarious. You've got that as well, but you've got a great air game going on as well. You knock a guy into the air, it's not just the you're, you're just bring up the air battles because of your amazing defeat <laughs> of you, in it, which is I think the only time I've ever beaten you. Fantastic victory victory in mid air. Recorded for all time. <laughs> Damn right. Um but no, all all the special moves which which I think is your favourite special move. What's the name of the guy in the big coat? Oh, Daigo. Daigo, I like it when he comes in, batters somebody, and the other person just <laughs> bows. <laughs> just bows like, <laughs> yeah. cheers, big guy. Hey, my favourite team up with that still, you know, the synchronised swimmer. Oh, I forget his name, but why does it hurt the guy? Why does it hurt the <laughs> Same with the photograph, though. So how come everyone's posing in the photo, but you're the one that only gets hurt? <laughs> it's brilliant. A lot of the characters do have the uh, Ryu and Ken you know, set up with moves. I mean, the geography teacher with the cracking shoulder pads, he's pretty much, not only does he look just like a geography teacher we had at school, he is pretty much Ryu. I have to imagine the idea that Ryu, yeah. after Street Fighters are done with, he's like, right, I'm giving him my first love. His main love is teaching geography. <laughs> so he retires to school and that's what um, happens. It's just one of those games where I don't think there's ever a round I've played where I've not laughed. Yeah. Every uh, every round you're laughing yeah. and it's because something unexpected happens because you've got characters with just fucking barmy moves says you've mm. got what's it, Roberto who can <laughs> yeah. just get amazing dodge moves and kicks a football and at beautiful you. Beautiful hair. And, and beautiful hair. It's just it's just full of fun and it's almost like picked pretty much someone for every sport made them look daft. And it's just <laughs> yeah. and the brilliant. baseball guy with a giant baseball bat. Baseball guy with a giant baseball bat. Oh brilliant. Um, but no, I, I think it's games like Rival Schools 2 that really sum up to me why the Dreamcast is my favourite console. You just, I feel like you can't get games like that on any other console. I mean, I know that there's better consoles, like the PlayStation 2 is the best console ever made, and you know, we've got loads of great games nowadays, but for some reason, the Dreamcast has ones that just feel special to me that no other console has. And Rival Schools 2, I think, is one of those, one of the kind of, one of the main attractions for that. I think it's, it's, it's a console that was so kind of almost uniquely of its time and place, so it was, it was, I mean, it was a very Japanese console. Tons of these games just seem so uniquely Japanese, but it's something that maybe we're missing now, because yeah. there's that kind of desire to make games as 
you wouldn't know where a game was made anymore and that's what the Dreamcast is great for there's so many games there that you think this could only came out of Japan because of this yeah. and that's just yeah. beautiful yeah, I think no, that's the, the Jet Set Radio the Shenmue's the um, Skies of Arcadia the Power Stones and the rival schools the rival schools it's, it was a console of its time and that we'll never have it we'll never have a, a console as unique as that mm. ever again Oi! Round two! Fight! 